to get your legs stronger, I would recommend basically just learn how to squat the flyer, right? Mm -hmm. So feet placement first. Whenever you're basing someone uh, new or even someone you've based before, it helps a lot to have to go Urkel, to have their I don't know if you know this reference because it's yeah, more loud. Yeah, because it's a lot Did you tuck my shirt in? <laughs> so a lot of times if you tuck your shirt in, the uh, shirt will meet the pants where the hip line is. But I find that women's clothing, sometimes they go above. Yeah. Yeah. Because dudes, normally our hip bones reach where our pants meet our uh, shirt yeah. is. But for you guys, it doesn't really help anyway. So you'll have to we use have just be able to feel. We have to have them higher so higher. that when we bend over, our booty doesn't... Let's go. Out. <laughs> now I know why. Okay, so you're, you're fine. Do you just, down or? No, down's fine. You just need to now go with the feel. Mm -hmm. Be able to feel their hip bones with your toe, right? Mm -hmm. So I think it's right here, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, the best place is to go right where the balls of the feet are. Mm -hmm. And I keep them parallel, right? I don't go out like lately. I find sometimes bases would do this, and then mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll complain, like, why is it so hard to balance them? Because you don't have them parallel, the mm -hmm. feet parallel, right? And distance-wise, you want to be able to touch their feet. If they're too far away, the mounting doesn't work. Like like a relationship, if, if it's long distance, sometimes it's like, oh, I, I need I need to be around you more. But if they're like all up in your business all the time, then you're like, yeah, get away. Moment, you know? <laughs> so it helps to. I mean, each partnership is the key. The interesting thing is it's each partnership. It is, but also like. Each partnership is different. Sometimes your flyers are really tall. Mm -hmm. So this is, isn't the hand, like this doesn't work either. They actually have to squat down, you know? So like in any partnership, you guys work with each other, what feels best for you, how the, you know, how far the distance is, right? Yeah. Uh, but on average, I would say touch the feet, be able to touch the balls of your feet as the base to the flyer's hip bone here. Bring it parallel. Sometimes bases will go a little wide here. I don't like that. It just slips up. Go, go, go all the way in. Not even here. So th this is where the hip bone is. Go in a little even. Okay. okay. So from here, a common mistake that the flies will do is they'll fold over. I need you to push your hips forward and look up like a bird. Just keep those hips forward, right? Mm -hmm. So keeping the hips forward helps the balance better than when you actually cave in, right? Okay. So do a couple of these called ski jumps, you know, where like mm -hmm. a skier is like jumping off. Yeah. Where the hips are forward, the hands are back. We bring your hands back behind your hips. And this helps the flyer to build a little trust in you too. Like, okay. Oh, you can take my weight. You okay. can take my weight and, and to, oh, I can trust my weight in you too. Okay. And then finally we'll take hands. I like the flyer's fingers forward. A real common mistake I think is the bases will grab on for dear life. Like it's very common, right? Get that support open. They can grab for dear life if they want, right? <laughs> and then they can let go whenever they want. Yeah. But you as the base, you want to give it open support. Okay. But be firm and strong. Keep pushing up, mm -hmm. but try not to grab. So I think of it as help, don't hinder, right? So support, open. And then lastly, I'm going to come in. And a common thing I see too when flyer bases are first basing is they'll come in and they'll collapse like yeah. all the way here. It's, it's a lot of weight to press up from there. You want to go, you want to meet them like halfway and then press right up. Okay. So instead of going all the way down here, when Charlotte leans into me right here, I'm going to start pushing up from there already. Okay. Okay. So again, parallel, distance, a couple of ski jumps, and the next one will come in, open support, and watch my heels. My heels come up. A uh, common thing I see is black bases will, will, will come up on, up here, and when they push up, they just push right back. Huh, okay. Because their feet are, are still too much, there's too much gas. Yeah. You're, the, the, you don't allow your flyer to come over your center. So you have to bring your heels up a bit, Bring the weight over towards you, and then press it down. Okay. And a little bit of this motion helps. Okay. If you if you find that um, I, I see this a lot too. I like talking about common like mistakes or common things that new bases do. Not essentially wrong, but like I try to provide tips that will help make the basing easier, right? Mm -hmm. If you find yourself unable to bring weight into the hands here, like 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 the uh, like there's too much weight in the the, the legs there and like you don't feel any weight in the hands mm -hmm. it, it's a it's really hard to press them up because all the weights in your legs right mm -hmm. you want one you want to be able to disperse the weight right between feet and the hands so one thing that i do when i teach new bases is 
if you can't bring the weight and the hands enough, if you can't do this motion, hips forward, you don't have the flexibility yet, start a little lower. Find the hip bones and put your toes on the hip bones instead of the ball of your feet. Because when you start lower here, it forces your flyer to put more weight into the hands. Now I feel a lot of weight in the hands. Mm -hmm. um, but that, but this adds a little bit of danger going over this way. Okay, so the most common fall I've seen, well, the most dangerous fall, more common is this left and right motion. The most dangerous fall is coming head over heels and your instinct as a base is to protect your flyer, you go, Shit! Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna. They're gonna <laughs> come I'm over. And I'm trying to shake you yeah. out so I can catch so myself. So really, and I do that too. I haven't done that in a while, but even after I think I based like three years, I, I did it a few times. It's such a natural instinct to want to protect your flyer as they're falling, and you think the act of um of holding on to that relationship will help, but actually sometimes you, you hurt them when when you're able to to. to I mean, you don't just like yank your support away, <laughs> continue supporting them, but in a way that's supportive to them, yeah. right? Because you think that this is supporting, but it's not. It's hurting, it's taking away the very tools for them to self, be self-responsible and to, to protect themselves, right? Yeah. So open support. There's so many good life relationship metaphors really in that though. I had no idea. <laughs> so one, one thing that I do is, um, I always make sure my wrists are above my shoulders or even a little bit beyond because if she falls that way, it's on her feet. Big deal, right? If your wrists go ever beyond your shoulders, you're in trouble because this bringing the weight back is very hard to do. Okay. So always stack or even a little bit. Start here first and once you're feeling comfortable, right over there. Like that, okay? And falling wise, if you're falling, you feel like you're coming over down Feet down first, hands are up. I teach from a standpoint of self-responsibility. Having a spotter is nice when you're first starting. It's like having training wheels on a bicycle, right? You ever see these bikes that uh, kids have now? They're called striders. They don't, have any, they don't have any training wheels, which I think I think spotting is like having training wheels. It helps you to do a pose, to do a transition. It gives you that feeling of accomplishment. Oh, I'm biking. Oh, I'm doing acro. But sometimes that can be bad if, if you use it as a crutch. Yeah, if you rely on it too much. Mm -hmm. If you think, oh, my spot has got me, I'll just goof off. Acro first starts with this partnership. You are her first line of safety when she falls. Mm -hmm. So when I teach, I teach from the standpoint of spotting as a base. Base spot. How do you let down your flyer gently to where you guys laugh about it, try again. Which is the beautiful part of acro, all the falling, all the laughing. Yeah. Uh, one part of it, right? Um, how to drop them nice and gentle to where you can get right back up and try again, okay? So with this, the third one on your tongue, of course. You've probably based very before, it's boring, but you'll learn something about base spotting birds, yeah. right? Okay. If you're coming over this way, drop your feet, but keep your hands up. The idea is to make sure your flyer's torso is higher than their feet. Okay. Their body is upward. You're trying to get them upright, not downward, inverted, right? Okay. I do a lot of demonstrating it's that's okay. really like kind of like violent, but I think that's the best way to learn. You, no, it's you, good. I want to. I agree. I want to simulate like real world situations, right? If you're falling over, drop your feet and keep your hands up. If you're coming over this way, keep your hands, keep pushing, but drop your feet so their feet are landing down first. Yeah. Okay. So. In most all acro, you want to do that. Drop the feet, keep the hands up. Okay. okay. So. And they're not diving on their face. Yes. So finally, what we're trying to get to, all the talk about falling, is now technique wise, right? Feet parallel, supporting the wrist above. When you're squatting, drop your arms a bit, drop your legs. And just press up. You know how to fall. You know how to base spot her. If she's falling. She's falling over, you know how to drop your feet, keep your hands up. Okay. And that allows okay. me to stand up too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. I will be spotting to provide that extra sense of security. And then once I feel like you guys are confident, I'm going to step away, okay? Okay. So let's scoot, um, let's have you base beside that. Let's have you base this way because the lady's cold. Okay. Okay. And because it's sun, right? So maybe okay. it's better to turn that way, like where you have. Okay. okay.
should be able to see you. <laughs> probably, probably a good thing. Okay. Hip bones, 